So hi, it's your guy friend again, Ping, and today I welcome you to Vlogs. <clears throat> so for today, we are going to discuss about the global divide. So to start, let us first identify what the word global divide means. The global divide or the global digital divide describes global disparities primarily between developed and developing countries in regards to access to computing and information resources such as the internet and the opportunities derived from such access. As with a smaller unit of analysis, this gap describes an inequality that exists referencing a global scale. So in simple terms, it is a division that exists between countries that are developed and are still developing. So to further explain what the global divide means, um, I'm going to give two examples of countries, one from the global north and one from the global south. So the two countries that I have chosen is first the Philippines and then second is the Japan. The one from the global south is Philippines and the one from the global north is Japan. So these are the similarities that I have found. Um, they both allow their citizens to vote for their political representatives. Um, the taking of shoes when entering home cannot say no directly. They dislike or are offended by body odor and they are the same when it comes to hospitality and politeness. And their differences is evident in their traditions in weddings, greetings, and dating. And they still have much more similarities and differences that I haven't included. And despite having both similarities and differences, Japan is still in the global north while Philippines is still in the global south. Um, I think the reason why Japan is in the global north is because they are really advanced when it comes to technologies and they use their technological advancements to develop and enrich their country. So I guess that's it and thank you for listening.